Hello, my name is Beth Sinclair and I'm, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'm, we're going to make this card. This card is going to show you all five of the new colors that we're going to have on a um, May 3rd. Okay. And this is a sample of the colors. This one is Starry Sky. This one is Parakeet Party. This is Tishan Tide, Sor so, um, Sweet Sorbet, and Orchid Oasis. That's what they're called. And each of these has those colors in there. I like them this year. They're really pretty. I, this is my favorite color, but they're they're brighter. You know, the green's brighter, and these two are brighter, and these two are just really interesting. Okay, now in order to do this here, we are going to be using a couple things. Okay, these scrap paper and these are my flowers. I'm going to put them out here for a second so you can see them. You got this one, this one, this one. And the main three that we're going to be doing, the last one I did on my own separately and I'll show you that one in a little bit after I explain how this one we're going to do. These two are a little easier because the flower is bigger and you can kind of avoid the flower when you do the green because we're going to be putting green on the bottom with blending brushes and the ink. Okay, This is my green blending brush. And we're going to do this. Okay, Parakeet Party, my green. And we just color stems. Now, when I first got this set, um, oh, I should explain what set this is, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, this is the meadow dyes that go, or with the meadow stamps in a bundle so you get 10 percent off when you get them together and i see that they are all you know one piece so i was wondering because i don't like this the flower and the stems to be all the same color so i tried coloring one in a solid color one in green gluing them together and i was like yeah and then i thought why not make it in white? And then I can just make it any color I want. Okay. I don't know. That bottom still seems to be a little bit. There we go. All right. So there's one. Here's the other one. Okay, now for this one. This one I'm doing a little differently because the flowers, I don't want to get green on them. So what I did is I cut out another one in white and I cut the flowers off and put repositionable glue on the back so that I could use them. And I am going to just lay them on top of the flowers. And that one right there. Now I'll go back to our green, parakeet party green, and we can just go ahead and color that everything green that we need without worrying about getting it on the flowers.
hard to tell if I like the green until I get it on something that isn't white. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're done with that. Now we're going to color the flowers. I think I'm gonna do this one first. Okay, take off my little band-aid, so to speak. Like that. And then I'm gonna use the Taishan Tide. Yeah, I, I can't say the first word really, Taishan. I believe it is a island somewhere that I've never heard of. And <laughs> either someone else will say it right and I'll pick it up from them, or eventually I'll learn how to say it properly. Okay, so we're going to do the flowers. Now another way of doing this so that you can avoid getting on the green, I'll show you, because that's what I did with the other one, which I'll show you in just a moment. Still right there. There we go. Are makeup applicators I got these at the dollar store and when I did the other flower off camera there's a lot more intricate little tiny flowers so I cut them out and it's a little time-consuming but for this one I used this little piece to get the flowers it was just a little bit more neater okay as I'm looking at this I don't like that end Ah, that's better. Okay, next we're going to use this one. And this is going to be Sweet Sorbet. Clean my brush a little bit. And then we've got my red brush for Sweet Sorbet. And this flower gets a center. Just to give it that finished look. And this is the little brown center that goes with it. Put a little dab of glue. And there. So that little flower is done. Now this one. So we've used every color but our Orchid Oasis. Now that one I'm going to use my purple brush. I started using the purple brush because in my mind, orchids are purple. I really don't know what color orchids are, but 
I guess they can be blue and they can be purple maybe. So now the one that I did off camera, that was the star and sky color. And there we go. So now we've got the flowers all done. We are going to go to the card base. You know what? Cleaner area. Card base. First thing I'm going to do is give it a little grass in two ways. First, I'm going to take the parakeet party and just give it a little color on the bottom. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to put grass down there and I'm going to be using a different stamp set. This one is called Paradise Poems. And I like the grass in here. What am I doing? <laughs> Get a little more ink on there if I just do it this way instead of using the blending brush. All right, here we go. Grass. There. So next, we take the Taishan Tide. right brush and then we're going to put a little bit of sky up there I like that. I like going in circles because it gives good coverage, plus it leaves little white spots that look kind of mimic clouds. All right, put those aside. Get rid of that. Now we're going to put the flowers in. Oop. Right, I'm going to start with this one. Okay, we're going to now need to use the mat as intended as my gluing area. Get my Tombow glue so I can put just a little bit on here and there. Make sure all the little ends are going to have a little something on them. And we place it on the card right on the end there. Okay, next I'll grab this one. Okay, 
then this one. Oh, by the way, the card base is five and a half by four and a quarter. I don't think I mentioned that to begin with. This is the standard base. And this one. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to trim them a bit. This is what you do when your little die cuts don't fit your card. You make them fit the card. Let's crook it. There. And my finger must have glue on it. I thought I was doing really good without the glue on the fingers this time. Okay, now all we need is a couple of finishing, finishing touches. First of all, we got the greeting. You're too kind. Um, which comes from the stamp set. Meadow stamp set. And I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. My wrong side, of course, it was crooked. I find it's easier to stamp and then put it in the uh, die. The label die. And since we're outside, I think a butterfly is appropriate. Maybe. I want the butterfly. I think we're gonna just do little rhinest no, our rhinestones, which I have over here. This is basic rhinestone basic jewels. They're like little diamonds. I take your pick tool, grab this, and I'm putting one inside each of the flowers. The, the blue ones, just because they have a little circle there and they just seem to need something, you know? These glue dots, uh, glue dots, hello. I'm calling them that because they have glue on them. The uh, rhinestones have glue behind them, so all you gotta do is lay them down and push a little bit and they're there. And here. And then I'll put one more right by the greeting. All right. And here you have it. Our medals card with all five of the new colors, which are gonna be available on May 3rd. This stamp set bundle with the stamps and the dies um, are available now. They're in the um, spring till June catalog and they'll probably be in the new catalog as well but then there won't be a bundle so you're a little bit better off getting them with 10% off right now and anything here you would be interested in you can check it out on my website I have everything right here all right thank you for watching Do you